Um, it's when journalists exaggerate things that happen in order to get more views and more clicks. 刻意的夸大一些事事实，引起一些共，就是情绪上面的波动的。鼓动。观众或者是观看者的一些情绪，来达到他报道的目的。本来是件很客观的事情啊，你偏要去强调某件事、某件什么东西、某件什么感情，好像是误导那个民众。读完之后会产生一种特定情。So what is sensational news reporting? It means exaggerating some emotional factors, controlling the emotions of the audience, making the audience have strong feelings about the event, and arousing conscious or unconscious psychological reactions such as sympathy, anger, disgust, etc. In the news production process, the main purpose of sensational news is to attract the attention of the audience. Normally, these features are involved in this kind of news story: over-storytelling narrative, excessive environmental description, and simulation of people's psychological activities. China Eastern Airlines MU5735 from Kunming to Guangzhou crashed on March 21st, killing 132 people on board. Numerous media use sensationalism to cover this event. We examine reports from March 21st to 23rd on four major media platforms and find many cases of sensational news. It shows that the media are keen on sensational news reports in disaster events. Such reports trigger widespread discussion and controversy in society. I didn't see much social media coverage、um, because I don't use a lot of Chinese social media,、um, and Western media didn't really cover it that much. So, 基本上就是大家可能在群里聊的多一点，但是朋友圈转的会比较少。呃，我基本上都是在看看朋友圈上面看到有很多就是转发。呃，在这个事件刚开始发生的时候，是朋友圈和微博都是有蛮多的关注量的，就是大家对于这个事件都是蛮关心的一个态度。Analysis of sensational news reports use compassion to get clips. Compare with objective and neutral reports. Sensational news reports are more likely to affect the audience's emotions, and the audience are more likely to share these articles to their social networks, so that the articles get more attention and the media platform receives more clips. Therefore, the media tend to produce content that can transfer into benefits as soon as possible, not comply with the principles of journalism. Sensational news reports sometimes over-exaggerate characters' behavior and mental status, which violates the objectivity of news. Some reports even fabricate people's psychological activities and make up fictional scenes in order to reflect the personality of characters, violating the principle of authenticity of news reporting. When a disaster occurs, the media should ask why the disaster happened and how to avoid similar disaster from happening again. The focus of socially responsible media. Should not be to express condolence or prayer to the victims, nor to guide the public to express their feelings collectively, but to seek and find the truth. I'm a little bit not very happy, especially because I feel that if I'm a victim, I'm not going to want my family members to be exposed and exposed to people's eyes. 如果过分报道这件事的话，可能会给别人带来一种那种不太好的影响。就比如说，可能以后坐飞机就不是很安全这种。对，我觉得就现在很多人一个问题就是不去想事件本身它的性质，或者他去想一些背后的东西，他可能就是立马转发，就是一种跟风的、从众的一种心理。你说他真正对这件事情他起了同情心、同理心，我觉得是这点是怀怀质疑态度。我觉得报道的挺好的。呃，他报道的其实也是事实，因为确实很多人会非常悲伤。然后这样的报道，我觉得，呃，遇难者家属也是一种安慰吧。
，我觉得新闻最重要的一点还是就是它要确保一定的客观性和公正性和真实性。嗯但如果就是一味的为了博得去浏览量或转发给自己盈利的话，他这种行为其实我觉得是需要去商榷了。嗯，其实我主要是看你读者什么反应，有的人想看他就会点开看了，写我觉得可以写无所谓，你怎么写都可以嘛，主要是看你的受众是怎么想。啊、呃，如果说是一些比较个人的公众号去发表观点的话，我觉得是可以接受，但是如果说。把它当做一种流量密码来说的话，可能是比较不可取的。我觉得，怎么说呢？我觉得煽情式报道还是有必要的，但是不能完一个报道完全以煽情的方式去报道。呃，这个新闻还是要呃，里面肯定是要蕴含大部分的实际性的消息。How to deal with sensational news reporting? As with other types of reporting. Disaster news coverage should always be event-based. The media should control the proportion of sensationalism in all coverage of a disaster event. Sensationalism should not be excessive and should not divert the audience's attention to the essence of the event. The media and journalists must have basic news literacy, which is a fundamental requirement for media practitioners. The media should not. Follow the trend and sell people's emotions, as sensationalism is cheap. In the midst of all the noise, the media should be the one that keeps calm.